Now, scientists are implementing a Google Maps-esque approach to unearthing the secrets of the world's oceans. Currently, only 5% of Earth's sea floor has been mapped in any real detail, which makes it hard for ships and submarines to traverse the ocean safely. The scientists behind the project aim to use state-of-third techniques to map natural dangers including underwater mountains, volcanoes and trenches. According to the Sunday Times, scientists will use a new technology called multi-beam sonar, which allows one vessel to map a swath of seabed hundreds of meters wide. In June this year, 150 scientists, scholars and business associates from around the world attended the Forum for Future Ocean Floor Mapping in Monaco, endorsing a project dubbed Seafloor. More than 85% of the world's ocean floor remains unmapped with modern mapping methods, it said on its website. The comprehensive mapping of the entire ocean floor is possible by the year 2030. UN-backed group the General Bathymetric Chart of the Oceans will oversee the ocean mapping scheme, with Google also offering support. Director of the Center for Marine Science and Coastal Engineering at the University of New Hampshire Larry Mayer said governments should focus on ocean mapping over space exploration. It is a matter of commitment, he told Theb, we could map the entire deep oceans for dollar bean, no more than a single Mars mission. This view was also backed by sociologist Amitai Etzioni in an academic paper, which he called for the removal of excessive spending on space exploration, suggesting money would be invested into oceanic studies. The basic reason is that deep space, NASA's favorite turf, is a distant, hostile, and barren place, the study of which yields few major discoveries and an abundance of overhyped claims, he wrote. By contrast, the oceans are nearby, and their study is a potential source of discoveries that could prove helpful for addressing a wide range of national concerns from climate change to disease. News, com, Oz privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information, including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.